Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Sometimes you find yourself in a situation where there just isn't enough space to build both a queue line and an exit path. Depending on the situation this might not actually be a problem as guests do not need an exit path to exit the ride. You could just let the guests drop down onto a path that is below the exit. Because guests in Rollercoaster Tycoon are secretly cats, they don't mind a drop from any height and just continue walking like nothing ever happened. You can also build the queue line in front of the exit. The guests will simply exit onto the queue line and then treat it like they're on a normal path. It even works if the queue line is one unit above the level of the exit building. If your queue line goes directly in front of the exit, you need to build a wall piece in between first, otherwise the queue line will connect to the exit building which makes it unusable. If you choose to let your guests drop down from the exit building, you will get a message saying that your ride has no exit path, but this doesn't have any effect so you can just ignore it. Interestingly enough, you do not get this message if you build your queue line in front of the exit building, as it thinks the queue line is the exit path. You might be thinking now, why don't we do this all the time? Well, there is a catch. Mechanics enter through the exit building of a ride to fix it, so if there's no exit path, the ride cannot be inspected or fixed. Therefore, this trick only really works with rides that cannot break down. Last week we saw that the maze is one of those rides, and I have indeed used this trick before with a maze. It is a bit crowded with rides here, but you can see the queue line go in front of the exit building as there was no other space to put it. There are four other ride types that cannot break down. The Crooked House and its variants, the Mini Golf, the Boat Hire and for some reason the Lift. This means that yes, you can totally drop your guests down from the upper station platform of your lift. You might think that on a ride with multiple stations you just need mechanics to be able to access one of the stations and then you can use this trick at the other stations. Unfortunately that's not quite the case, as breakdowns always occur at one specific station and can only be fixed at that station. Therefore every station always needs mechanic access. If there's no exit building on a station they'll enter through the entrance building instead. Maybe this is the reason that the lift, despite being a ride that requires electricity unlike the other four, cannot break down. If it could, you'd have to station a mechanic at the top, just in case it breaks down there. Since this is not intuitive at all, it might be the reason it was programmed to not break down. Or it is a bug, I don't know. And that is all you need to know about this little space saving tip. I hope you are able to put it to good use at some point in the future. If you liked this video you can give it a like or leave a comment. You can also subscribe or follow me on Twitch. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.